31 days ago, the insurance commissioner of California was petitioned by um, uh, 10 public interest and civil rights groups to begin a hearing and rulemaking process to stop the use of education and occupation and auto insurance. He's answered that petition and saying he is going to do hearings, but he is not going to submit to a timeline for rulemaking. This is an outrageous practice insurance companies in this state engage in. They today charge you based on your college education and based on your profession, and it's illegal. It's not a rating factor approved by voters. The commissioner has said he will look at this. He will hold hearings on it. He will see how this discriminates against people. He has not committed to a timeline or a rulemaking. Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara needs to commit to a timeline to deal with this very fundamental problem we face, which is right now 18% of Latinos have college degrees. The other 82% pay more for their auto insurance because insurers discriminate against them. 25% of African Americans have college degrees. The other 75% pay more for their auto insurance because they're discriminated against. Ricardo Lara needs to stand up for these people during the next year, year and a half. These hearings need to lead to rules. These rules need to have a timeline. This cannot be more talk with no action. And we are hoping the insurance commissioner is resolute in a process that moves forward to get an end to this discrimination. And we welcome participation in that process. We're glad that these hearings are happening. But we have to tell the insurance commissioner that they need to result in rules on a reasonable timeline because this discrimination has gone on too long. So just wanted to throw that in there for anyone listening who cares. Uh, it's a big deal in California. And it's a big deal for the people who voted Ricardo Lara, who was the first Latino insurance commissioner in the history of the state. 